Hello friends, this video on Amai's part 17 is brought to you by examfear.com. No more fear from exam. Before we discuss the basicity of Amai's further, let's understand this term called solvation because this is very critical. It helps in determining the basicity of Amai's. So what is solvation? Solvation is nothing but the interaction of solute with solvent. For example, I am a solute Na plus and this solvent called water. Solvent is water. Correct. Now, the interaction of solute that is my Na plus here and solvent that is water here, this leads to stabilization of the whole solution because the whole solution, if you see, is a little bit, is a little bit stabilized. Why? Because Na has a positive charge and all these oxygen has partial negative charge. Partial negative, partial positive, they'll interact. And with this, the whole solution is a little bit stabilized. Correct? You can think this is the interaction between sodium and a plus, that is solute, and my solvent. So because of this interaction, the whole solution is stabilized. This is called solvation. That is the interaction of my solute with the solvent, that is water here, and with that interaction, the whole solution is stabilized this is called solvation we'll see this when we compare any alkanamines and ammonia as i already told ammonia is not that basic alkanamines are more basic than ammonia let's see why let's compare ammonia and alkanamine so let's suppose let's take this alkanamine here rnh2 with a lone pair and let's suppose there is H plus here. Since it's basic, it attack this H plus and the output you'll get is R, N, H, H, and H with a positive charge. Let's do the same thing for ammonia. I have ammonia and let's attack this H plus. Since ammonia also has known pain, it will attack. If this is strong acid, what you get is something like this and with the positive charge. Now if you see if there is a R because of plus I effect of R this positive charge on N plus will be neutralized. So this is more stable. And please note this is the output this is not the input. This is my input and this is after the reaction. So if I have a stable output that means the reaction will be favored in the forward direction. Correct? If I have stable input that means the reaction will not be favored. Correct. Here I have stable output, it means the reaction will be favored. Here the output is not that stable because this plus charge on nitrogen is not stabilized by this hydrogen. Hydrogen is not a electron releasing group. Correct. So with this, this is more stable. Since this is more stable, the reaction will happen more. The first reaction. And the first reaction is not the one, is nothing but the acid based reaction. The acid is the base and they are reacting. So with that, we can say that my alkene amine is more reactive sorry more basic correct so with this plus i effect with this plus i effect only now if you think of plus i effect now so with that the tertiary is more basic tertiary amine is more basic than secondary than primary we've explained this so this is most basic and this is the less basic and this is all the more less basic, right? This is tertiary, this is secondary, and this is primary. And NH ammonia is all the more less basic, correct? Basic strength. So this is true in gas phase. In gaseous phase, this is true because in gaseous phase, plus I effects come into picture. That is correct. But the moment you talk about aqueous phase, the moment you talk about aqueous phase, this is not true. Why this is not true? Because the solvation come into picture. Solvation with water molecule because this guy will now interact with water molecule, right? Because I have NH N plus ion and this reacts with water molecule and water molecule also stabilized. 
Now if you see, if I get a plus here on the tertiary, something like this and also H. Now if you see there is no space because these are all bulky groups, they are all bulky groups, right? Hydrogen is small, they are all bulky groups. So this will not be able to uh, stabilize with water because with, to stabilize with water, if I see here, slightly negative charge in oxygen, there has to be a space for interaction between nitrogen and oxygen. But since there are three bulky groups, the solvation will not happen, right? So that way, this compound, the tertiary amine is lacking something in aqueous medium. But if you talk about the primary and secondary, yes, they are enough space because hydrogen is small. Hydrogen is small. So there are enough space. This is big, but these are all small. These are all small. So there is enough space. There is enough space for this to have this solvation interaction with water molecule and this will become stabilized because end of the day if you're talking about uh, this amine in aqueous medium so in aqueous medium the solvation also is coming into picture which is favoring tertiary sorry primary and secondary amine for tertiary it is not favoring why because there is no much space because the steric hindrance by this r there is not much space for this nitrogen in the tertiary amine to take part or this N plus out of the reaction to take part in the solvation. Correct? So what you have seen in the solvation example, there was something called Na plus and it was having you know, this solvation with all this water molecule. Similarly, here also we have N plus, N plus and it is expected to have this solvation with this, this water molecule, right? But if you make this N plus unreachable by having this big, big R here, the interaction will be less. And this stabilizes the whole thing. So this stabilization won't happen. Since this stabilization won't happen, this tertiary won't be as basic as expected by plus I effect. Correct? So in that case, we'll see that naturally, the secondary one is more basic than tertiary. Correct. So here the ammonium cation which I am getting, this is my ammonium cation, gets stabilized not only by this plus I effect of this electron releasing group, right? For example, if I get plus H here, this is my ammonium cation. Let me, I am forming a ammonium cation here all. This is the output actually now. So all these are stabilized not only by the plus I effect all this, all this electron releasing group, right? But also by the solvation with water. And solvation with water is minimum here. Plus I effect is there, but solvation is minimum. Here, plus I effect is little less, but solvation is the max. So with that, we'll see that this is most basic. This is experimental actually. So here the logic is pretty simple. Greater the stability of this, greater is the basic strength, right? So stability of this is now dependent also on the solvation with water. You put this in water. Correct? So this is, the solvation energy is not playing a role here, but it's playing a role here and here. So we have to see both plus I effect and solvation. And experimentally we've seen that the second degree, the secondary amines are more basic. So if you see, actually, so as per plus I effect, right, we have seen that basic series order is what? 3 degree is most basic, then 2 degree and 1 degree, correct? As per solvation, it is reverse trend for basic series order. It is actually one degree is max and two degree and the three degree. Why? Because see, if it is something like this, it is tertiary, right, with the plus charge, this nitronium ion will not get space to interact because these are all big molecules, right? No space for interaction. If it is, let's suppose this guy, 
the first degree it is blocked only from this side other sides are all free for solvation correct so as per solvation this is the order and as per basicity this is the order so when you talk about the aqueous medium when you talk about the gas gaseous medium only first thing comes into picture the second thing is not even there so we can just directly say that in gaseous medium this is the order but in aqueous medium both come into picture also steric hindrance also steric hindrance steric hindrance has the same order as this because the more is the steric hindrance the less space nitrogen will get to attack tell because you have bigger alkyl group so steric hindrance also have the same order 1 degree is most reactive as per steric hindrance 2 degrees okay and 3 degrees least so when you talk about the reactivity of alkyl group you have to take into account all these three factors if you're talking in the aqueous medium and if you're talking in gaseous medium only first and last the solvation you can ignore correct so with this actually the experimental value if we have seen that uh, this is c2h5 2nh it is this is secondary is more basic than tertiary and then we have the primary and obviously ammonia is last so you see this is 2 degree then 3 degree and then 1 degree and for ch3 it is different actually for ch3 it is ch3 2nh that is first then ch3 nh2 and then ch3 3n and then nh3 nh3 is last always but if you see there is no fixed pattern so in this case if you see it is my 2 degree and then 1 degree and then 3 degree right so here it was 2 degree 3 degree 1 degree there is no fixed pattern it all is all experimental value there is no specific order that's what we are told that these things depend on three factors and here if you see maybe the alkyl groups are bigger so the steric hindrance and the solvation energy is playing a bigger role here the alkyl groups are small maybe that is playing a smaller role we don't know but overall experimentally we see that this is the case for thank you visit our website examfear.com to watch more and more quality education videos you can also attempt free online tests that are there in our website you can also get access to tons of free study materials and you can also find free tutors and mentors in this website thanks a lot for watching